Hey MTV, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to be showing you around Ken Lewis's DIY basement studio. Come on in! Would you believe me if I told you it cost only $3,000 to set all this up? Let me show you how we did it. We started with an empty finished basement that was 24 by 30 feet. It had drop ceilings, a tiled floor, and a two second reverb time. Our goal? Make it dead enough to mix Atmos. We started off with a massive shopping trip at Lowe's. We bought three large carpet remnants that were 50% off. We covered the almost 20 by 30 foot area with the remnants, costing $300. We also got four of these gorgeous 8x10 heavy rugs to hang from the ceiling and act as walls. All of these carpets are helping us to knock down the high and medium frequency sound waves. Figuring out how to hang them was tricky. We ended up screwing these small hooks into the ceiling and using heavy gauge fishing hooks and fishing line to suspend them. It wasn't easy, but after much trial and error, we got them to stay up. We added Velcro to the edge of this wraparound carpet to create a door that can actually close. We got two more carpets, both 5 by 7 feet, to finish off this back wall and fully enclose the room. For low frequency sound absorption, we got a whole palette of Rockwool safe and sound insulation. Placing Rockwool in every corner soaks up the resonant bass frequencies. We also placed them around the perimeter of the carpet wall and three in the corner behind the speakers. We made sure to tape up every little hole in the packaging to ensure we didn't get any fibers anywhere, as well as wrapping them in small, $5 moving blankets. We had speaker stands, but needed a center channel for Atmos, so we bought a long wide board and Lowe's cut it to our size. We placed it across the LR speaker, and then covered it with a tapestry from Amazon. We painted a cardboard box black and used it for a center channel speaker stand. Lastly, we hung these moving blankets too thick and too wide on both sides of the carpet wall. These blankets, much like the carpets, are used to cut down the high to mid-range frequencies. We cut holes in the corner and hung them directly on the hooks. Finally, we found a great hardwood desk at a vintage furniture shop for only $150. And here's the expense list of everything we used. There are so many little things you can do to improve your space without breaking the bank. It took us just a little over a week to set everything up and we're super happy with how everything's sounding.